In this video, we provide a step-by-step -step guide for the new generation super mini PCL technique, SMP. The basic components of the SMP system are an 8 French miniaturized nephroscope with a newly designed irrigation suction shoes. The irrigation suction shoes is composed of a straight shoes and a handle. The handle consists of an irrigation port, a straight tube, and an abolic bifurcated tube at 45 degrees. The suction port located at the end of the abolic tube. The straight shoes is two-layered metal structure. The space between the two layers of the shoes function as a channel for the irrigation water, and the central lumen of the shoes works as a conduit for continuous suction. The shoes had side holes at this distal tip, which allow egress of irrigation through the irrigation channel. The key feature of the irrigation suction shoes is to allow infra and outflow respectively. The irrigation is delivered through the irrigation channel of the shoes. Thus, a one-way flow is created as the inflow that comes out of the irrigation channel of the shoes is immediately aspirated through the suction conduit of the shoes. The irrigation can create a vertex at this end of the shoes. An active suction can help to draw stone back into the suction conduit to remove it. During the suction, the negative pressure can be adjusted by occurring or opening the pressure vent located in the access of a barlic tube. Now we introduce the SMP technique in one case who had a 1.8 cm stone in left kidney. The patient was placed in prone position. Percutaneous access to selective calyx was achieved under fluoroscopic guidance. The success of the puncture was confirmed both by free flow of litigation fluid and by fluoroscopic images. Using a guide wire, the dilatation was carried out with 10 French facial dilator. Then, a 14 French irrigation suction straight shoes with an obturator was advanced over the guide wire and introduced into the pelvic glacial system. After checking the position of the shoes under direct nephroscopic vision, the guide wire was removed and the handle was connected to the straight shoes. The irrigation port of the shoes was connected to an irrigation pump. The abolic tube of the shoes was connected to the specimen collection bottle and brought then to the negative pressure aspirator. Stone fragmentation was accomplished by using homing laser with 550 micrometer fiber. The tiny pulverized stone fragments would pass around the scope and evacuate through the abolic sluice. If the stone fragments were too large to pass around the scope inside the shoes, the scope could be withdrawn slowly to proximal to the bifurcation in order to create an unobstructed channel for large fragments evacuation. During the section, the negative pressure could be adjusted by either partially or completely occurring the pressure vent. At the end of the procedure, a single fluoroscopy imagery was obtained to assess the stone-free status. After removing the ureteric castor and the shoes, the wood was sealed with absorbable gelatin. All stone fragments had been collected in the specimen collection bottle. One day after surgery, a CT scan confirmed the patient was stone-free, and the patient was discharged.